Israel is home to the world's only theater company comprised entirely of deaf and blind actors. They're called the Israeli Human Rights Council. A Iranian a woman's march is when the husband walks over their unconscious wife. All right, Iran's gonna go first. Give it up, Fouad HP. Iran, roasting Israel. All right, before I get started, right now in Iran, anti-hijabi protesters are being shot and killed by government forces loyal to the Iranian dictator. The media is not covering it, and Facebook is helping them censor it. So when you get home, please Google it. Please learn about it. Please talk to your family members about it so the Iranian people aren't suffering in silence. Okay, now that I've had some nice shit, I'm about to commit some war crimes. <laughs> this battle is all about an Iranian roasting a Jew. <laughs> which would be a lot more efficient if I was German. <laughs> Israel is surrounded by people who don't like Jews. No, not the Nazis. No, not the Russians. No, not the Spanish. No, not Asia. No, not North America. No, not South America. Or as I like to call it, where the Nazis went. Israel is predominantly Jewish and full of traditional Jewish occupations like banker, jeweler, and Palestine. <laughs> like Israel, Ronan has made a lot of settlements, but his... but his have been out of court and involved sexual assault. <laughs> Earlier this year, an Israeli sniper shot and killed Palestinian-American journalist Shirin Abu Akleh, even though she was clearly marked as a member of the press. I guess it is true, the Jews don't control all the media. Israel drafts women into the military because they know most women are pro-choice and won't have a problem killing kids. <laughs> In Israel, religious Jews get blood tests before they get married to make sure they're not related because they don't want to have any incest babies. Ronan's parents aren't religious, he just looks inbred. Uh, funny enough, my parents are actually first cousins. <laughs> but like, I look like a prince. <laughs> And Ronan looks like a predator. <laughs> the, the largest dog cemetery in the world is located in Israel. That's where they bury Ronan's relatives. <laughs> Israel has one of the highest life expectancies at 82. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. It would be a lot higher, but the average dropped because the IDF killed so many kids. <laughs> Don't worry, the Anti-Defamation League is gonna get me after this. <laughs> uh, Israel is home to the Dead Sea. Israelis named it after their European relatives. <laughs> hey, take your time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Israel is the only country that's legalized torture. Palestinian prisoners are routinely forced to endure hours and hours of Ronan stand-up. <laughs> Israel is home to the world's only theater company comprised entirely of deaf and blind actors. They're called the Israeli Human Rights Council. <laughs> Israel has the largest underground hospital in the world. And thanks to Israel, Palestine has the most underground hospital. A Iranian a woman's march is when the husband walks over their unconscious wife. You guys uh, have to uh, legalize marijuana. It is a more fun way to have women that are stoned. <laughs> you know, uh, the strongest thing about a r Iranian woman is uh, the smell of the pussy. <laughs> you know, uh, we have... For out here, um, he and uh, Freddie Mercury have a lot in common. They, <laughs> him, uh, they're both, you know, from Iran, have a sexy mustache, and they are both going to die from HIV. <laughs> the Jews, we like to give to a charity. For out, he fuck a stripper named Charity, <laughs> and now he spreads uh, chlamydia. I do not know if you know this, but Fouad is actually an actor. He played the carpet in Aladdin. <laughs> it was a dream come true for him. He always wanted to have an Arab man on top of him. <laughs> to get the role, he had to uh, give Harvey Weinstein uh, many genie rubs. In fact, he is a famous actor. He has a stunt double. They look exactly the same. It is identical uh, twin sister. <laughs> yes, him and his sister, they spend lots of time together. They have dinner, they hang out, and they shave each other's backs. <laughs> they are both so hairy that even Groupon banned them from getting Groupons for laser <laughs> hair removal. When uh, Fouad, he goes to uh, McDonald's in Iran, he, go, he buys two Happy Meals, one for his four-year-old daughter and one for his 12-year-old wife. <laughs> in Iran, it's not a Happy Meal, they call it an act Happy Meal. <laughs> Thank you, Israel. Oh! Hot one, hot! Nuclear, even. Okay, guys, final, final vote of the night, which is what well, doesn't really happen in one of these countries, but we're going to do it anyway. <laughs> All right, guys, make some noise if you liked Iran. Make some noise if you liked Israel. Oh, shit. I can't tell. One more time for Iran. And Israel, oh, Israel wins, give it up, Ronan Geisler, Foad HP.